everybody. Happy Friday Eve. Happy Thursday night. How are you? It's good to be back. Doing this <clears throat> live. No more pre-recorded. And, um, hi, Margaret. Thank you. Hi, Carol. Hi, Linda. Yay, we had a really, really good time. So I should be rested and refreshed, Shelly. But unfortunately, um, I'm more like vacay lag. Um, jet lag for sure. Five hours time distance is enough to make you a little bit crazy. It's been a, it's been a crazy day, I would say. Thank you, Jennifer. Hi, Dion. Hi, Lisa. Thank you. <sighs> I can finally, like, breathe. I'm back. Yay. Hi, Carol. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm taking it easy tonight. I'm going to do something fun and easy. Um, I have saved some really good stuff for next week. But um, today and tomorrow, I'll probably take it easy a little bit. We're going to do a fun, super easy transfer called What I Love Most. And it's basically what I love most about my home is who I share it with. And it's just a super cute, um, really love the font, the different fonts, and um, the little little things right here which you can use, you don't have to use, but we're gonna do this on a palette board. Hi, Michelle, hello, hello. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do this on a palette board and I'm reusing the backside of a palette board that I already have. So last year I made this. Um, so this is a Easter thing that I'm gonna put out and then when Easter's over, I'll flip this bad boy over and it's going to have this um, super neutral decor on it so I can save time and space. So let me show you how we're going to do that. Hi, Sherry Harris. Thank you so much. It is good to be back. I love vacation, but it is always good to be back. Now, um, I have chosen the vacay palette pack to use with this. So we have Storm Couture Coral and Sage. So those are the colors we're going to use tonight with this. But first, I want to do a little bit of distressing on here because it's my favorite. And I'm not going to be doing um, a ton of embellishments because I'm not going to wrap anything. We'll see whatever I can figure out. But for now, I'm just going to sand these edges. <laughs> Not old, it's actually new. A big old paintbrush, just like a big paintbrush, to do my cleaning for me. Instead of my little, I done got it on my transfer. Now I did it. Okay, so we'll get all of this into the trash and I'll kind of wipe down my board a little bit. That's what happens when you use the electric sander. It's awesome, but makes a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a mess. 
Hi, Joan. Thank you. Hi, Emery. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Robin. Yes, always use both sides. Hi, Gail. Hello, Gwen. Maui, like honestly, um, when we got there, it was dark. And so, I mean, we could feel it, but you couldn't really see anything. Really, you couldn't. And when I woke up in the morning at 4.30 a.m., on the first day um, and we got up and kind of like watched the sun well you can't really watch the sun come up for where our view but we watched it get lighter and lighter and I saw our view to die for like just an amazing view it was a great resort I loved everything I cannot complain at all the one, like, if I have a complaint at all, it's that I had to wear a mask for, like, all day, unless we're in the water or eating or whatever, um, or in our room, and that's hard. When you work from home and you don't wear a mask except to, like, go shopping, that's hard. So, I have a lot, and I mean a lot of mask me mask acne it is a real thing because it was very hot there too and so you're wearing the mask it's super hot you know that's the only that literally was the hardest thing about the trip thank you connie i do tan easily i had sunscreen on the entire time i wore a hat um Sunglasses, sunglasses, hat, sunscreen, and um, I just tan really, really easily. Hello, Levada. Hi, Colleen. Thank you. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Gail. Yeah, the masks were hard. The worst day was when we went shopping all day, and all of the malls and shops are outdoor. You have to wear a mask outdoor. <sighs> It just made me crazy. We did have a good time, Christina. Thank you. All right. So I wiped this down a little bit. I'm going to wax it with some of our surface wax. And if you like this project, you can get it from the cart link that I posted. And it's also pinned on the Facebook um live video and it's pinned on the YouTube video. Yesterday I had my second COVID vaccine shot and I'm happy to say I literally have zero side effects. It's been over 24 hours since I had the shot and I know some people were like feeling bad. I haven't had any anything except for a slightly sore arm but the first shot hurt worse it was in this arm though so I think I'm pretty lucky hi Kathy Kibben you lived in Oahu oh lucky you Lisa hi Elizabeth aloha wait aloha like you can't just say aloha you have to say it like that Yes, Maui's fantastic. And now I'm home. And it's Michigan. <laughs> Although it was 68 when we got home, which is really nice for Michigan in March. All right, so let's mark the back of this. If I seem a little like weird today or like not myself or not peppy, I am still exhausted. <laughs> That traveling man, it takes a lot out of you. And then on top of that, the time change, I'm just still recovering. Um, they say it takes a day per hour that your time change is different <laughs> to, to really get used to it. Um, when we went there, it's five hours difference for me. 
and um, the first day we tried to stay up, went to bed kind of early, got up at 4.30 a.m. Second day, pretty close, 4.30. Then we eventually made it to 5, and then 5.30. And then by the end, we were getting up at 6 in the morning, which was cra like crazy because we were wide awake. Like, it wasn't like setting an alarm at home because I set my alarm for 6 here, and I'm like, oh, get the snooze can't do it. It's crazy. But there it was so nice. I felt like super um I heard he said I wasn't going to do I'm trying to place this. And I think if I just kind of do it in the middle, um, I was just thinking if I had a cute heart, I would use that, but <laughs> I do have a heart. I do have a little heart, so maybe I will make something with this cute little heart. I'm going to turn on my glue gun, and I'm going to grab some... I wasn't even going to do this, but now I think I am. Okay. I love that there's like this little heart down here. I'm just going to kind of... Do this. There. Hold on. I clearly am not straight today. Okay, so like I said, the colors that we're using are Storm. Got that one right here. You know what? I am going to start using this till we get our regular. I'm going to like glue this to the bottom of that, the top of it actually. These are our new dreamy, dreamy chalk paste colors. That's Storm. This is um, Couture Coral. Wonder if I can put a little hot glue. Once that's heated up, I can glue this in there. Hi, Vanessa. Thank you. And I will... Because I don't have any other glue. I'll just stick it down there. And then we have this. Our sage. All right. So, most of my words are going to be storm. I'm going to do love and the heart in Couture Coral. Everything else, word-wise, will be Storm, and then this will be Sage. So let me get some 
I'm going to go ahead and do get some of this for my love. Here we go. Oops. I totally touched the M. And that one down here, what I love most about my home is who I share it with. Okay. And then let's do our sage next. There we go. Um, I hope if you are one of my club couture people, you are able to get your 25% off three pack of creamy dreamy chalk paste colors. Um, when you log in to my website and you click on shop or click on the, um, there's like a banner up at the top that is for Club Couture members only. If you um, click on that, it'll take you to the Club Couture promos and you'll be able to choose one of our three packs of Creamy Dreamy Chalk Paste for 25% off. Only for club members. Um, if you're not a club member, type club in the comments and I will send you the information and you can sign up for club this month and still take advantage of that 25%. You'll still get that discount, um, but it's only for March and it's only for club members. They get a three pack of jars of the new creamy dreamy paste. I have an issue. There is a bump under my A so I'm gonna to have to look into that after I get the rest of this done. So yeah, so um, that's our club special this month. Also, if you were a club member in February, you are going to be mailed out free of charge, completely free to you, a special gift, um, a creamy dreamy launch pack with, it's gonna go with your March Club Couture. So the ones that are mailed this week that are going out right now have a double project kit in them. You're gonna get your regular eight and a half by 11 kit and then you're gonna get a uh, four by six transfer that's super cute. Um, I don't have it, but I will be getting it soon. And you're gonna get two awesome creamy dreamy chalk paste. Now, there's a little bump where that A is. I guess that's okay. There we go. I hit a couple bumps and it kind of went a little bit cray cray. But let me stick this in my water for a second. And grab some, oh, I always forget they're in my middle drawer. Some of these just to kind of clean off that area. Oh, that one wasn't very good. Got to be careful. Um, there was a bump and I just hit it in all the wrong places and everything kind of like smeared. Not smeared, just kind of leaked. So I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit more but first 
Let me get this uh, transfer cleaned so that I can set it to dry. Because you want to take that transfer in the water and clean it right away. As soon as you are finished chalking, it'll um, help you to get the chalk paste off your transfer. And of course, um, you can set it. it it comes off quicker and easier when you do it right away. That's what I was trying to say. I'm really, my brain is really trying to struggle to figure out what words to say for some reason. That's just my struggle. I feel like it's a Monday. I know it's not. I know it is far from a Monday. All right, I have these other pointy ones. That might help a little if yikes that's not what I wanted so I'm trying to do it before it dries and then oh let's see if I can Kind of hard. I'm gonna dry it and I can go in there. I've got a few other techniques on how to fix things like that. Hi Barbie, hi Linda. Hello Pamela. Oh, ready for wine. It's tomorrow. Wine day Friday. Okay, I'm getting this all dried up and then I'm going to go in here with and let's just see just see what I can do with some of this you can usually kind of Scratch some of that off with like a little tiny toothpick. However, if it's just kind of stained, it's not necessarily going to scratch off. I could distress it a little bit with a sanding block. But I don't really want to mess anything up. So I think I'm going to leave it for now. It's just on that crease. I can see it. Thank you, Tony. Oh, um, spray window cleaner to... to to clean off a little bit of chalk. I'm sure if I had the right tool, I can get it off. Um, because it's on that white, it's just, you know, a little touchy. And it's on that edge. So it's all right. Hi, Dion. All right, so now I want to do, I'm gonna, I forgot to leave this open. I'm going to get this heart wet. I'm gonna do a little painting.
to make it couture coral on the top. So I sprayed it with water just so that that chalk will smoothly go over that and paint. So easy. I didn't even need to water it down. And it is perfect. Now, I'm gonna dry it and probably Get a couple little pieces of ribbon, maybe some jute. We'll get a few things going. That's dry. I've got some twine here. That probably will be good to tie. And I'm looking for some, it's a little too blue, some sage colored. This will probably work well. Uh, you guys, my sister went to a local, it's like a, consignment shop type um, resale store and she found a like shelf bin full of fabric um, trim for like so cheap. So now I have a table full of trim like I need more right? Need more trim, like I need a hole in the head, but couldn't resist the prices. Um, so awesome. Let's do some of this. That looks good. I think we're gonna do like, like a, all right, I am gonna cut off the edges of this so that I can really fray it. You'll see. So we're gonna do like a double layer with these little pieces. And then I'm just gonna kind of tie it up so that it kind of looks like a bow tie. And then I will trim these pieces down. And we're gonna fray this. I'm gonna fray all of it. I didn't put any of the pink or the couture coral in here. Just not gray either, not storm, but I have some just burlap color, whatever, natural colors. And we're gonna take, so it looks kind of like this. We're gonna take some hot glue to the center. And that's where my heart is gonna go. And then we'll take some hot glue to the back
And that, my friends, is what we're gonna do. So, I'm gonna show you all of this close up. Oh, thanks, Vanessa. Rustic chic, Linda, yeah, you got it. Um. Okay, so, speaking of my friends, I hope that you are inside my VIP group. And if you're not, it's a free crafting group. You can jump in there um, by typing add me in the comments and I will give you a link and you can um, request to join today. It's as easy as that. And then I always like to end by letting you know that if you are curious about becoming a designer like me, um, all you have to do is type team in the comments and I will get you a link to join my opportunity group where I tell you all about the ins and outs of becoming a designer. Now, remember, this is an Easter um, display from last year. I will put this out after Easter. I will flip it over and be just super happy that I don't have to, you know, create two things. I can just have this there until I'm ready to do more summery things with some very vibrant colors. Hi, Julie Miller. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be back. This is a real live, not a fake live. And um, let me take that off so you can see everything you need to. I will be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll have another awesome project I don't know what it is yet, but it's going to be awesome because they're all awesome. I've got a new necklace and it keeps flipping around and now it's pulling my hair and it hurts. <sighs> Thanks, Amy. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Again, I'm like exhausted. I'm going to go to bed now. And I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Have a great Thursday night and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget your wine. Bye, everybody.